Hello and welcome. I have a question for you. How would you like to make these reusable? Today we're going to do something different. I'm going to try my very best to make deconstructible make it mini food dishes. What do you think? I'm going to use this multi-pack that my hubby got me for my anniversary. This is our second present. I'll link the first video up in the corner. It would really come in handy to be able to take these apart for photographs or even use them for other projects. Think of it, an endless supply of ingredients. If this works, this is going to be awesome. Let's look at our surprises first. This one looks like it's a cute bag that you would get in a store or something. Let's see what's inside. Well, we have Good Morning and Rise and Shine. I guess that's for the cereal and for the waffles. We have a cute little recipe box that you can put on the counter. And it comes with the required Read Me First. Now, what is this? Snacky Snacks paper. Hmm. Interesting. Here are the recipes. Here are two other doilies or placemats, whatever you want to call them. Let's open this one. This one feels a little heavier. Nothing else in there. We have a nozzle. We have the tweezers. We have the pizza cutter, which is adorable. And we have two slices of bread. <sighs> I I love this kit. I just wish that the surprises were a little bit more surprising. I may seem like I'm going kind of crazy and flopping back and forth, but there is a method to my madness. Stick around to the end and you'll see why. Let's take just a quick look at what we've got to work with. We've got whole strawberries and banana slices. We have a waffle. Sounds like there's another one in here. Yep, one more a cute box, syrup, chocolate chips, spumoni. have no clue what that is. If I figure it out, I'll put it up in the corner. We have chocolate syrup, three different scoops of ice cream. We have whipped cream that has, looks like it has a strawberry on top. All oh, those are cute. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't think we're going to use all eight, but we'll see. And the bowl and spoon. We have our drink and these are adorable. Lemon slices, but little itsy bitsy. Looks like mint leaves. Totally cool. We have our cereal and it has little rings and it has little marshmallows. I do like that they have almond milk this time though. And then my favorite, we have a pizza. Crust box cheese meat says deli. Doesn't exactly look like pepperoni, but it could be like ham or sausage or something. And pineapple. I've got a question for you. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Comment below. I'd love to hear your ideas. Don't forget the toast. Let's see what we can come up with. So here's my bright idea. A piece of plastic. Take a dry erase marker. Put the plastic over top. We are going to draw where we want the sauce. And I'm going to do a similar thing here. Okay. So now when I flip it over, I can pour the resin just in these areas. And they'll fit. Let it dry. Good grief. That's a lot of cheese. Good thing I have a lot of plans for it. This is some thick cheese. Don't forget, we have other stuff we're going to do as well. It's kind of stringy like cheese. And we will work on the bread in just a minute. And I don't want it perfectly round, just because it's not going to be perfectly round on the pizza. Not in real life. And we're going to want the crust to shine through a little bit. Now we don't need as much for this. Let's see if I can get it just how I want it. I don't want to waste any, because I have big plans for it. That didn't even use half. Very cool for extras. Now, into the oven it goes. Shut the door. Start the timer. Ding! Looking good. Let's add some more here. Let's see how this looks. Mm, could still use a little bit more. 
Mm, that's better. Now we can cure it. Gonna go ahead and work on this. Trying to make it as rectangular as I possibly can, if that makes any sense. Because I have a plan. There we go. Let's put this one in. We're adding a little bit more to this one as well. I don't want it covering up everything, but I want it to have a decent amount of coverage, if that makes any sense. And I'm finding this toothpick is actually really helpful. Trying to make it seamless. And there we go. Now that I know it's possible to do these, let's make some with some ingredients involved. I think that's going to be neat. I hope I have enough. A little bit more on this one. These will change slightly when adding the other ingredients as well. We have our little deli meat. Now, these, I'm gonna need these. It doesn't look like pepperoni to me. I'm thinking more along the lines of sausages or something to that effect. I might be better off just doing them by hand. I'll rearrange them with the toothpick in a minute. I'm getting better. And one more, right about there. Move these around just a little bit. Now let's add a couple to this one. You're probably wondering what in the world I'm doing, but trust me, if you stick around, you'll find out. And one more should do it. All right, now we can cure that one. And I still have a few left over. Now I want to see if I can do the drizzle. I'm going to use the pointy end of this one. Let's see how we can do it. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but I think it'll be all right. Now let's cure that. I think I'm going to take the remainder of the cheese and do the same thing to this. Okay, now I'm going to cure this. While looking at this box, I noticed several things. This is not a recipe that's included. That's different. And these are not for the strawberry banana waffles. It seems to me that they're encouraging us to be creative. Let's do it. I have this open bag of crumbles from a different project. I have an idea. So we are going to just cut these into very, very teeny tiny pieces, just like we did the sprinkles from last week's video. These aren't as small as I had hoped. I am not cutting anymore. This is what it looked like before, and this is what it looked like after. You gotta have a lot of patience. On the box was this picture. There is no recipe card for it, but I really want to make this. I'm going to try to figure it out. Doesn't it look delicious? I'd want this in real life. Keep that right here for reference. And we're going to need the chocolate syrup, the milk. I have cut up some of the crumble to make it a little bit smaller. So hopefully it'll look better. And then I know there's chocolate syrup on top. I know that, I think that's supposed to be an ice cream scoop. I'm going to take some artistic liberties and not do that. But we could add some whipped cream with a cherry on top. What do you think? Let's make it. Overall, it'll be very similar. Looks like it starts with the milk. 100% happy. Almond milk. This square one is a lot harder to squeeze. <laughs> Trying to gauge it. I think that's slightly higher than it should be, but it'll work. Let's take a spoonful of these. Now I'm going to take a toothpick and try to get them toward the outside. This one is very thin. It's not as thick as some of the other ones, like the chocolate syrup or maple. Let me cure this first. All right, let's add some chocolate. Now this is thick. I'm glad I cured it before I did this. That's definitely chocolatey. I'm gonna add some more probably on top, but for now, that's gonna be what I need. This is gonna take, I think, a majority of the chocolate. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna try to go for this effect. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the milk, almond milk, right on top. It will not be, ooh, I forgot it was very, very liquidy. Okay, so there's that. Now, let's see. Let's see if I can get it to do what I want it to do. So taking my toothpick, I'm going to gently poke. All right, these are going the opposite direction that I wanted, but okay. It's not exactly doing what I wanted it to, but it's better than a straight line. 
And what I'm realizing is if I go in and then pull it out towards the center to make the dip. And there we go. Here's how it looks. It's not perfect, but it's as close as I'm going to get. And you can see the chocolate on the inside. Let's cure this before I mess it up any further. It's out of the oven. Looking pretty cute. Now you can leave it as this and have a topping on top. What I'm going to do is measure around the circle. So if I keep it within one of these squares, it'll fit inside. So take the milk. There's one, two drops. I'm going to take this, bring it out so that it's, uh, it's within that radius. There we go. Now I'm going to cure this. This is going to be our base for the toppings. Now for stage two. This is going to go on top of the white base we've already made. I have another whole bag of crumbles and I still have a good bit left in here. Let's use this as a base. This time I don't have to worry about crushing them up a little bit. I think I want them bigger like this. Add a dollar of chocolate sauce. Mmm, that looks good already. Then we can just take our trusty little toothpick and yeah, I like that trusty little toothpick. Yeah, that actually looks very similar. The base is good. We're not leaving this on here, so I'm not worrying about sculpting it completely. But I do want to get all the pieces covered very well. Now's the hard part. I need to lift this and put it directly onto the mixture here without going off of the circle. All right, that looks good. Now we wait. I'm glad I kept a couple because... I can use a couple around the bottom. Now I can go back in and cure. I want to make it a little taller though so it can peek out over the top of the cup. That's where some of the other stuff is going to come into play. So I have a little bit of chocolate left on here that I haven't cured. Let's see if we can gather up enough. Put it on top. I'm going to be taking my trusty tweezers for these because it'll be a whole lot easier. Put that on top. See? I think the chocolate chips are just going to get lost. Let's add some more of this around on the side just so that these crumbles will stick to it. Let's add some. This is going to be so cute. Or just try to use it. Oh, there we go. Doesn't have to look delicious. I still have a good bit of chocolate. Let's put it to good use. This is so thick. Doesn't want to come out. Still not a lot. Let me work on this. Chocolate is a precious commodity. I had an idea of something to do with this for possible leftovers. These look slightly different, but I think they're close enough to get by with. But I only want a little bit at the bottom. I hate having leftovers go bad. Before and after. There is one fault with this. It doesn't fit under the shelf. I guess it's going to have to go there. Is there a dish you can think up? I'd love to hear it. For those who like photography and don't want to cut open this, this is what I did. I made a slight cut and then I split open the back. Now I can take it out or put it back in and it looks like it's sealed. I ended up having some ideas for the maple syrup. So I have my plastic right here and I'm just going to pour out some of the syrup onto the plate. Oh, and that looks like maple syrup. Oh, that looks good. Making me hungry. Make sure there's no bubbles, because that would not look good on this. With a white background, it doesn't look very dark. So we're going to add another layer with extra resin. Okay, in the oven it goes. Let's make something wild and crazy. I still have a good bit of maple syrup left. Let's make something sweet. Oh yeah, I still have a ton of this. Well, I cured this second layer. It is looking gorgeous. Now to add some toppings. I set out a few sprinkles and a few chocolate chips. So now I'm going to add a very light layer to the top. Spread this out. So let's add some sprinkles. This is a dessert that Kitten's going to love chocolate and sprinkles. Now into the oven. I also had an idea, me and my famous ideas, whether they work or not is a different story. I'm going to take a little bit of the syrup and fill the holes of one of the sides. Oh, 
I'm going to work on this a little bit more and then cure it. Now that we've made a bunch of ingredients, let's see what combinations we could make. Let's start off with breakfast. Here's the two waffles. I did the other side to look like it had syrup in it. Then we also have this. It comes right off. So you put that down, then you can put these on top. Easy deconstruction. They look like they haven't been made and you have a clean plate. Perfect for photographs. And if you love fruit, there you go. It's also easy enough to make the fruit bowl. Just add a spoon and voila! Another part of breakfast, the last bit of cereal. And the cereal comes out. Or you can have a couple pieces floating on top. They do come out. There you go. Then you have a little bit of milk to feed a kitten. Now we can have lunch and dinner. We have the pizza, which looks like a giant pancake on the back. But we have two cheese toppings, and we also have one with meat. Now for the lunch side, we can make a grilled cheese sandwich. Or if you're wanting a little bit more protein, here's some cheese with the deli meat in it. If you've never done this with pepperoni, it is delicious, by the way. Then we also have this. I wanted to test out and see if you can cut it. And it looks like you can. So now we have four slices of cheese. So we have before and after. Only have four slices left, so. And then you can always add the pineapple, just like the picture. And now for the desserts. Here's where we can get really creative. We have the chocolate which can go down first then with the waffles then with that so we can put the smears down and have that on it fancy now we have the drink that we made which is supposed to look like this yummy the dessert pizza so we could do it like this and have say it's strawberry preserves underneath or flip it over so it looks like a pancake and voila and you can even do variations of ice cream the combinations are almost endless sweet savory salty breakfast lunch dinner and dessert these are a few of my favorites like comment give that bell a ring and until next time Toodaloo!